Good morning everybody and a very warm welcome to this week's edition of Disasters in the Home Community on Sunday the 24th of March 2013. Well, if you look out your window, there can surely only be one place to start and to comment on this week and that is the appallingly freezing conditions that we're currently experiencing across the UK. And for those of you um, following this in the US or far further afield in warmer climes, um, we are a bit pathetic. We do grind to a halt at the slightest sign of any snow, but it has been fairly unusual uh, this last week and fairly widespread um, right across the UK. We are experiencing bitterly cold conditions uh, and snow which has affected transportation across um, the whole of the country. What does this mean for us for our disasters in the home? Well, typically it's burst pipe season. And this always seems to coincide with holiday season, whether it's Easter or Christmas uh, in the UK, uh, at a time when families go away, leave the country and leave their homes unoccupied. Problem being, uh, we don't always take the necessary precautions and that leads to the inevitable burst pipes, which I have been dealing with for over 22 years. In fact, I got my first instruction of this cold snap last Sunday, shortly before I posted my last blog actually, um, which is an absolute typical case. People go away, don't leave their central heating on and come back to find that a pipe in the loft space ha has burst causing flooding. So what do you do about it? Well, what you've got to ensure if you go away, you must ensure that you keep your central heating on on a low uh, constant temperature uh, or at the very least make sure it comes on a timer switch to come on at the coldest times in the morning and in the evening. Don't take any chances and think about the cost because the cost is far greater if you come back to find your house has been flooded. Burst pipes are terribly damaging because they're top down. They're from the loft, from the attic, down through every single property, every single room in the building. And they can have devastating consequences. And you can be out of your property for a minimum of six months. There's various reasons for that. Um, they cause extensive damage. Um, warping, damp, rot, um, problems with the electrics, not to mention all your personal effects, your contents and furnishings and all your prized prize possessions. So my tip for this week is please, please, during this cold snap, which is going to last right through the Easter period from what we can tell, if you're going away or even if you're not going away, please make sure your heating is on. Ensure that your pipes in the loft space are fully lagged, they're fully insulated, even pipes outside, some people have pipes outside leading to gardens and yards and what have you. Make sure they're fully insulated as best as you can. Do regular checks, don't be caught out by this uh, cold snap because it does get seriously cold in the evenings. If you need any assistance, if you've had a burst pipe or water damage to your home, please post um, your experience on the blog here. Um, and we will do our very best to assist and give guidance where we possibly can. Have a great week. Um, don't have any disasters in the home. And I look forward very much to seeing you again next week. And hopefully it'll be a little bit warmer. Take care. Have a great Easter or Pesach if you're of that faith. And I hope to see you very soon. Take care.